There we are. A bull water buck feeding, not feeding, drinking from the dam. He's a magnificent fellow. Well done, Zumi. Keep it up there. And there's a sandpiper in the background, which I'm afraid I find slightly more interesting because I think it might be... It might be a common sandpiper. I saw my first common sandpiper yesterday at Chitwa Dam, but that's either a wood or common sandpiper. But let's stick on the water buck for now. Now, water buck, you will all agree, we seldom see around the water. Now, isn't that odd? I don't think it's that odd at all. I suspect that they're called water buck because, uh, well, maybe in very watery areas, the bulls have got territories around water. But otherwise, I think they spend a great deal of time away from the water in the seep lines, which is, of course, where they graze. But a bull like this will have a territory somewhere centered on water. But in the same way, so will a wildebeest. So I'm just not very, I'm not very convinced that water is such a crucial part of what they do. Uh, Zumi, you're doing an exceptional job, and all the viewers are saying how much they're appreciating your work. There we go, very nice. Um, Laura, uh, interesting one. You say, why do, do those water buck have the white circle on their bottom? It is the thing we talk about the most. It is the most obvious feature of a water buck. And one would think that if it had a specific reason, the other subspecies of the water buck, the Defasa water buck, would also have it, but it doesn't. And so uh, people will say that, the, the, I mean, the standard issue answer is that it's a following mechanism. So when they're running through the bush, that very obvious white bottom there helps them to follow each other. I'm becoming less and less convinced by that because I think a water buck would have to be blind not to be able to see one of its colleagues running through the bush. And if they can see each other running through the bush, there's no reason on earth why it wouldn't help a lion that was chasing them see them running through the bush. So I don't really know. Following mechanism is the best explanation we have so far, but there are a couple of things or a couple of parts of that argument that I don't really buy. Right, let us head across to Jamie Patterson, find out where she's going for the last few minutes of what could be a fairly drizzly drive.